stuck out, I would say the similarities. I mean, when you're talking about the issues, you could have uh, taken exactly what they said and transported it back to Canada because it's exactly the same list of issues that we face. I think there's a great confluence of issues uh, for cost of living and inflation issues between Canada and the UK. I think we're facing many of the same concerns. Uh, we're coming at them from some of the same solutions and some differently. It's made me realize once again how important the balance is between short term and long term. I think the national security conversation has become an important conversation across the world and we got into a little bit of discussion today about the Arctic and what happens when you're when when a bunch of countries are, are considering who controls the Arctic is turns into a, not only a, a, a geopolitical conversation but also a defense conversation. Canada and the UK uh, have been allies since day one. Uh, we're working with NATO to make sure that this war on a war, it's an illegal invasion, stops as soon as possible. Um, so that's why, I mean, we need to have this discussion. Canada and the UK are in lockstep on this issue, along with our other NATO allies, but being here together and sharing it as parliamentarians, not uh, members of the government, I think is important just to reinforce the message of the unity. The spot of critical importance is Canada's Arctic and the impacts of climate change, which is opening up the Northwest Passage. And I'm delighted we have Great Britain as a, as a backup and partner. I mean, the, relate, the trade relationship between Canada and the UK is strong, but it's also in a state, uh, state of change right now because of uh, Brexit. Canada and the UK are in late stages or later stages of renegotiating a trade agreement. So uh, it's important for us as parliamentarians to be here and hear from the voices on the other side and to share the messages. Uh, and re reinforce the, uh, the direction that the negotiations are taking.